It was just rumors, but now we have a confirmation. Dragon Ball 2018 is a thing. We're going to be getting a movie next year. I'm going to read you guys an article talking about the announcement because there are some details that we do get about the plot or what it could be. It's very, very vague. So again, no confirmation as to exactly what this movie is going to be about but we're going to still speculate. So it's official. After a slew of rumors hit the internet about Dragon Ball's future, Jump Festa confirmed they were true. The event just revealed that a brand new Dragon Ball film will be released in 2018 to honor the franchise's latest anniversary. I believe this has to do with 20 Dragon Ball movies, and that gets me feeling a little bit mixed. On one hand, it's like, that's an amazing feat. Not many franchises get that far. How many franchises do you know that have 20 movies? Not that many, right? Bet you can't even count on your fingers how many franchises have that many films. But on the other hand, it's like, you know, you don't have to justify this. Like, Dragon Ball has basically, like, accomplished so many different accolades that 20 movies is not even, you know, in my head right now when I'm thinking about, like, all the things that they could commemorate Dragon Ball for. So I really hope they don't end up, like, giving us a nostalgia reward, like, you know, some throwback into the old days or whatever. I hope they give us new material, new content, and they can incorporate some of that old stuff in it, some, you know, rehash, remix, etc., etc., but at least make it fresh. We don't want, like, you know, uh, flashbacks. We don't want them taking, like, you know, movies and compiling them together, events and compiling them together. We want fresh content. I think something like this in store for us, it's been five years since Battle of Gods. That gives them more than enough time to flesh out some solid ideas, especially since the actual timeline of the Dragon Ball Super story has been very kind of, like, safe in the sense that, you know, we got the Universe 6 arc, which was the tournament, and now we're in another giant tournament. So there's been mostly just like the same things going on, except different versions of those things and a lot of stuff in between. They could definitely make something fit and something that'd get us going crazy for the future of the story, the next 100 episodes of Dragon Ball Super. Just moments ago, official placards from Toy Animation confirmed Dragon Ball will be getting a new film. So far, there's little known about its story, but fans do know a bit. As you can see below, one of the placards confirms the 2018 feature will be focused on the Saiyans and have a lot of characters. You could read its official translation below. So on the placard, we've got the story's already finished, historical number of characters, the key word is Saiyan. Now, as you guys know, when Saiyan is the only description of the plot and what it's going to be about, listen, they, they really explain nothing at all because they could be talking about a number of Saiyan-like things. This is going to be centered around Goku and Vegeta, possibly. You know, maybe the Universe 6 Saiyans will get tied into all of this. Maybe Ultra Instinct training, you know? I don't know if this is going to happen after the Tournament of Power, how long after the tournament, maybe completely separate, and they tie it into the actual story around that time. If they want this to smack, I'd recommend they do a couple things. You know, first of all, obviously Goku's going to get a big moment. Give Vegeta a big moment, right? That's something we've all been waiting for. In fact, they could even flirt with the gap in power between those two to get us even more curious to see who's going to come out on top. Don't have Goku just flat out just smash on whatever enemy they introduce. If they introduce a new enemy at all, they might actually bring back somebody from the past or another character. It might not even be, you know, a hero versus villain type of movie. It might just be Goku sparring around or Goku having an amazing fight. Maybe a fight against Beerus again, except this time, you know, he's obviously gotten stronger and the gap has been closed quite a bit. We'll get a better idea once the title comes out, of course. They could even have Goku outclassed in this movie, and that'd get us excited for the next next 100 episodes of Dragon Ball Super, the actual anime, because, you know, it sets the premise, it sets the bar that Goku now has to peak once again, because he did it with the previous transformations, the god stuff, we've already dealt with that. Let's get into something completely brand new, and obviously have new heights that Goku needs to surpass. If they want to go balls crazy, have the Saiyan King in Universe 6 be the strongest Saiyan ever, ever introduced in the story, and he has some kind of hidden power that he's never shown, that nobody's ever heard about, and that would be like the, the thing that Goku needs to climax in the movie, and he doesn't end up doing that, but he works towards that now in the future. That would be all sick. Of course, it's all just speculation, all just a bunch of ideas. Only thing we know about this movie is that it's going to be about Saiyans. And listen, that's what the story's about as a whole, so that's not saying much. I know there's going to be some Broly fans like, Bring back Broly! And I hate to break it to you, but that's probably not going to happen, okay? Zah!
With all that being said though, what do you guys think about this Jump Festa confirmation? It was just simply rumors and speculation in the registry of a domain a few months ago, but now it's about to be a reality with this confirmation. I can't wait till they drop the title on us because that's when we'll get a pretty good idea as to what this movie will be about. It could be a number of things, guys. All we know so far is that it's about Saiyans. And I'm guessing because they emphasize that it's going to extend beyond just Goku and Vegeta, it's going to cover the Saiyans. But listen, we don't really have much to work with right here. So it's anybody's guess as to what it's going to be about. I do 100% believe that it's going to tie in with some of the re 